بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ریلیشن شپ بٹوین دا لینئر ویلاسٹی اینڈ اینگولر ویلاسٹی وی وانٹ ٹو پروو دا فارمولا دیٹ وی از ایکول ٹو آر اومیگا مینس وی وانٹ ٹو اسٹیبلش دا ریلیشن شپ بٹوین اینگولر ویلاسٹی اینڈ دا لینئر ویلاسٹیز اف اے باڈی از روٹیٹنگ or a rigid body is rotating then every point of the rigid body is rotating in some fixed circle every point on the rotating object has the same angular motion and every point on the rotating object does not have the same linear motion as the point on the rotating rigid body which is away from the center will cover more distance in a bigger circle at the point near to the rotating object rotating point uh, or the central point that point will cover a shorter distance or a, that will move in a smaller circle so their linear motions will be different the point on the larger circle or a bigger circle will be moving with a more speed linear speed and the point on a smaller circle will move with a slow linear speed so it means that every point on the rotating object does not have the same linear motion but every point on the rotating object have the same angular motion and as every point on the rotating object either it is with the shorter radius or with the longer radius will be covering the equal angle in equal intervals of time so angular speed of all the points will be same but the linear speeds of all the points will not be same and what is the relationship between the linear speed and angular speed we draw that relationship in the following slides as we know that arc length s is always equal to r theta s is equal to r theta where r is the radius of the circle and theta is the angle you can see that if a body with a smaller radius is moving in a circle if a point at this shorter circle or smaller circle that will cover a shorter distance or less distance in the same time as compared to the point at the large circle it will have to move a large distance in the same time so this point will be moving much faster as compared to this point so its linear speed will be more as compared to the linear speed of point on the smaller circle so it means that larger radius will have larger linear speed but both points will have the same angular speeds okay as we know that s is equal to r theta so we can write theta is equal to s over r where theta is actually the angle which defines the arc length and the radius in some fixed ratio if angle is two radians we know that according to the definition of radian if the angle is one radian then arc length and the radius will be equal if angle becomes 2 radian then arc length will become double means 6 meter as compared to radius if the angle become if the arc length becomes 3 times 3r as compared to radius means 9 as compared to radius radius is 3 then the angle will be 3 radian so we have already defined in the previous lecture that the radian how many radians will an arc form it it 
will be calculated by the formula S over R. So, arc length is calculated from the formula S is equal to R theta and you can see it from this example that if the angle is two radians, one radian in this arc and one radian in this arc, then the arc length will be 3 and 3, 6. Okay, so we see that theta is the ratio of arc length to the radius and you also know that the linear velocity is always tangent to the curved path. If a body is rotating in a circle, linear velocity is tangent to the curved path or to the circle and it is also called the tangential velocity. The magnitude is defined by the tangential speed of this velocity and the relationship between the angular speed and the arc length, uh, sorry, the relationship between the angle and the arc length is given by this formula. If we divide both sides with the delta t, then we get delta theta over delta t means angle per unit time that is known as angular velocity and delta s over delta t is known as linear velocity and 1 over r. So if we take r to the left side by cross multiplication then we get v is equal to r omega. It means linear speed is related to the angular speed that is multi r times of the angular speed or radius times of the angular speed. It means linear speed is radius times of the angular speed. If radius is more as we have discussed earlier in the previous slide, if the radius is more then the body will have will cover more distance. If radius is small body will be covering less distance in unit time. If radius is more body will be covering more distance at the same time. So it will have more velocity. It means that if someone give or someone is given an angular speed of a rotating body and is asked to describe the linear speed, he will only just multiply that angular speed with the radius and he will get the linear speed. Similarly, we can get the linear and angular acceleration relationship with each other. We know that v is equal to r omega. In the previous slide, we see that v is equal to r omega. If more angular speed changes, then more linear speed will change. Delta omega, if delta omega comes over here, then there will be a delta v over here. So delta v is equal to r into delta omega. And if we divide both sides with the delta t of this equation, then we get delta v over delta t is actually the linear acceleration or the tangential acceleration, how much acceleration this body has in the tangent direction or how much change in speed will occur if the linear angular speed changes. If the angular speed changes more, then the linear speed will change more. But how much times? Radius times of the this is known as alpha, alpha mean angular acceleration. Our rate of change of velocity, angular velocity per unit time and rate of change of angular velocity per unit time is known as angular acceleration. So angular acceleration is related with the linear acceleration. How much? That linear acceleration is r times of the angular acceleration. You always see that Tangential acceleration is radius times of the angular acceleration. All points on the rigid object will have the same angular speed but not the same tangential speed as we have already discussed in the initial slides. 
all points on the rigid object will have the same angular acceleration but not same the tangential acceleration because of the same reason as for the tangential and angular speeds the tangential quantity is depends on the radius and r is not the same for all the points on the object so omega is equal to v over r or v is equal to r omega and alpha is equal to r acceleration is equal to a is equal to r alpha by observing that there are linear motions and angular motions in linear motion we have described three equations for those motions linear motions first equation of motion second equation of motion and third equation of motion in the same manner one can define three equations of motions for the rotational motion or the angular motion by just replacing the corresponding terms as linear velocity final linear velocity will be replaced by the final f of final angular velocity and initial linear velocity will be replaced by initial angular velocity acceleration will be replaced by alpha similarly in the second equation of motion acceleration will be will be replaced by alpha linear acceleration will be replaced by the lean angular acceleration alpha and displacement linear displacement will be replaced by the angular displacement and similarly vf and vi will be replaced by omega f and omega i and similar procedure is for the third equation of motion that linear displacement with the lean angular displacement and linear velocity and acceleration with the angular velocity and angular acceleration so there are three equations of motions for the rotation of motion thank you for watching the video and please visit the website www.cancollege.com for more information and also subscribe our channel for informative lecture videos